And we're back with Let's Play Mass Effect. Where we left off, I was unfortunately going to talk to Conrad. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I spend most of the time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but, um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Anything for a fan? Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. Hmm. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again! Hmm. Something about him just rubs me the wrong way. You think it's expensive to live here? Never been a real fan of crowds. Neither have I. I'm not a big fan of crowds either. They're kind of annoying. Ah. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Standard items. Let's see what he's got. He's got an Alanis Risk Control License. I'll take that. Increase the number of Medigel. I'll take that too. Go ahead and sell that. Saving. Auto save. Yay, auto save. That's him. Oh, snap. We're under attack. Man. Whatever this thing. Ah, damn. What the hell? <laughs> what the crap is with my ragdoll? <laughs> okay, that was completely unexpected, and I have no idea why it did that. It was like, I don't know. I just suddenly died for no reason. Anyway, let's try that again. Good thing it auto saves. That's it. Hey, uh, Caden? Can you? Oh, no, you can't throw him. Damn. I've lost shield. Uh, okay. Those were sirens, man. Right uh, clear. We know we've done something right then. If you manage to piss somebody enough, piss somebody off enough, that nice techno music. Back off, Rex. Fist told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. Sound is cut out. What in the hell? I'm very confused. Why did my sound just suddenly cut off? A million light years oh. from where humanity began, and that was one of those weird bugs that pops up. Naked women shaking their asses on a stage. I can't decide if that's funny or sad. Both. What? You don't think they're here because of the food? Talk to General Commander. <laughs> what do you want? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and 
There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me. Me! Septimus Araka, General of the Turian Fleet. I think I can see why you're upset. But spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Straighten General, up, you! Did you ever win a battle by moping in a bar? Ha, <laughs> <laughs> war. That's what this feels like, all right. How did I let it come to this? So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. <laughs> this is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. <laughs> or maybe Say, twelve. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Sure, why not? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why does he think that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to, and where is he? His name is Zeltan. Ah, yes, He's an Zeltan. Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. <laughs> Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Hmm. Yeah, well... Hard to imagine a general like that getting so upset about a woman. That's because you don't understand women, Kate. Nobody understands women except women. I don't even know if women understand Alliance women. military. <laughs> I could have been a Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Biggest mistake of my life. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian CSEC officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The yeah, captain really. used to be a spectre. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor. And then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Just tell me where Garrus went. Yeah, just... Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. What do you know about Garrus? Yeah. Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always bucking heads with the Executor. <laughs> He'll pay for it soon enough. The Executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. You need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility for yourself. <laughs> Save your sermons. This ain't no church. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink it in peace. Yeah. Bugger off. Why didn't Captain Anderson tell us he used to be a specter? Maybe it's not true. Parkins an ass. Then he's just messing with our heads. I'm probably right. Still, I'd like to hear... So would I, but that's for another time. Right now, please choose a citadel with ward locations. Med clinic. Yay for rapid transit. I like rapid transit. It's a good thing. Saving. Just in case. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Uh... Ouch! Boom. Headshot. <laughs> Finally, some action. Go in the 
hard way. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. What were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage. There wasn't time to think. I just reacted. I didn't mean to... Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. I know those men threatened you. But if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What Quarian? What Quarian? A few days ago... A quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. Hmm. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Then what? I put her in contact with Fist. Probably a He's bad an idea. agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. <laughs> Feast betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid, even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. Hmm. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. You're right, Time Garris. we paid Fist a visit. <laughs> this is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Why do you hate him, You're dude? a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Wow, he's angry. Welcome aboard, Garrus. <laughs> yeah. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. We can handle this on our own. Let's go. We don't need him right now. But now we have three members of the squad, so we can actually choose two. So what I'm going to do is actually going to choose Caden and Garrus. That way it's a little more, more of a balanced squad. And now... Now, Garrus is good with assault rifles. And especially with sniper rifles. So. Okay. Now, we're going to give him some points here. He's actually very good with sniper rifles. So I'm going to give him a point in sniper rifles. Okay. Well, when we come back, folks, I will um, continue the... Well, let me go ahead and quickly do this here. When we come back, I will continue the search for Fist and for the core.